Uh, welcome to constant function. Now, we know that uh, uh, when we represent a uh, function as f of x is equal to y, uh, the function is uh, defined or named or based, uh, based on what is uh, what kind of process is undergone by the input element x uh, to get uh, the output element y. So, uh, it simply means that uh, a constant function uh, infers that we are dealing with a constant output. So, so the key point is that uh, the output is constant. One now. So, f of x is equal to k, uh, where uh, for our for all x is an element of. Uh, uh, capital R as the set of real numbers is how we define a constant function and uh, naturally uh, the domain is a set R and it's a set of all real numbers and uh, the range is of course the output and in this particular case it's a constant and so range is the constant and uh, because there is a uh, only only a single element in the range, we are dealing with a so the range is a uh, single ten set. Now let us look at uh, the key points of a uh, constant function. What what exactly a constant function stands for? Uh, suppose uh, a function gives the result of f of x is equal to 3. Now the constant function means that <coughs> uh, now x is the input, y is the output value. So uh, what if the input is uh, 4, the output is naturally 3. Uh, what if the input is uh, <coughs> on point 961? Again the output is 3. So what if the uh, uh, input is uh, say uh, 77 again uh, the output is so it simply means that uh, uh, irrespective of the difference in the uh, input value the output value is a constant now, how how is this possible? Uh, how can this be possible? So that, that's a, that's a key question which uh, we ought to ask. And uh, now, when we are saying uh, f of x is equal to three is a constant function, <coughs> uh, we know that uh, uh, if in, in, for a particular process, uh, you ought to be getting a constant result. So uh, suppose. Uh, now we can uh, look at uh, three examples to drive home the point. So uh, the, the, the key point here is to get the output as three. So what, what if uh, uh, f of x is equal to uh, <coughs> root of x. Naturally, in that case, uh, we'd be dealing with uh, a power. So, so you, had, you had to define uh, and state that uh, we'd be dealing with a uh, positive. Uh, I mean, the result would be a positive integer. And uh, naturally, you'd be uh, dealing with 9. So in, in this particular case, uh, the <coughs> The input value that is x ought to be 9 and uh, it has to be defined that uh, uh, the output value or ought to be belonging to the set of real numbers. Other, otherwise the problem is that we ought to be uh, looking at the set of complex numbers. So in this particular case if, if f of x is equal to root x then for getting the uh, output as 3 naturally uh, your, the, the input would be now, what if so? I uh, will denote that as function f1. Uh, looking at another function, what if uh, we are dealing with uh, x plus 1? Naturally, uh, in this particular case, uh, for this uh, the second function f2 of x, naturally, 
so this is x1 so x2 would be 2 so that again we'd be getting a uh, constant result that is uh, we'll be getting uh, 3 now what if uh, uh, f of x is uh, uh, x squared minus 1 actually uh, it's very simple uh, Uh, to see that uh, here uh, the input value uh, would be 2 that is uh, in this particular case uh, x3 would be 2 so that uh, uh, we'll be getting uh, 4 minus 1 so that is 3 so uh, <coughs> sorry I mean it's y3 so y3 uh, would also be three. so so you can see that in all all these cases if you are no, looking at the output the output would be that is uh, for f on x that's f n of x uh, where the the input value uh, would be <coughs> to uh, just i mean the, the the output value is the root of the input value that uh, to get it for getting three uh, it would be uh, inputting 9 so for the second function you can see that again for getting 3 uh, the input value will be 2 and for the third function again for getting the constant value of 3 uh, the input value would be 2 so you can see that in all the uh, 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 all the three cases that is in, uh, f1 of x and f2 of x and also for f3 of x no, all, all, all these cases are, uh, the input values are different, but the output value is same. So that, that, that's a key point. That is what is meant by a constant function. Now, how do you uh, graph a constant function? Actually, it simply means that uh, if we are dealing with the uh, f of x, is equal to 3. Naturally, it simply means that uh, that is positive 3 and we know that the output values are uh, marked on the y-axis. Sure. So surely uh, it would be a, uh, a line, it would be a straight line which is parallel to the x-axis and suppose uh, uh, if we are dealing with f of x is equal to minus 3, again uh, uh, it would be a straight line which is uh, again parallel to the y axis and and naturally it simply means that uh, for f of x is equal to zero uh, the line would be <coughs> constant that is uh, this li line would be constant uh, with the x axis and uh, of course for f of x is equal to two uh, this would be how the, the standard graph would be uh, looking like and uh, in the other videos, uh, we'll be looking at uh, different features of the constant function. 